Well, hello, good people. Today, we're going to take a look at Luminar Neo's upscale AI. So let's start off with this image. The dimensions are 1935 by 1335, not terrible. And if we zoom in closer here, it really doesn't get too pixelated unless we zoom in super close like this. Now you start to see it get pixelated, right? So we're simply going to slide it in here to upscale. Before we click on the upscale method, if you click on the information button here, it's gonna tell you some information. So they recommend a minimum 257 by 257, that's in pixels. And then they give you maximum sizes in length and width. So just be mindful of that. With this image, we're going to upscale it four times. We're gonna click on four times, click on upscale, and it's actually relatively quick. So there you go, it's done. On the left side of your catalog, it's gonna create a folder called upscale. If we look at the dimensions now, it's 7740 by 5340. So it's blown it up pretty big, right? Now, the reason why I'm using this image because it's a good starting image. The original image was a raw, and I took this photo from Facebook, and it's been compressed, you know, because it was saved as a JPEG. But if we zoom in here, like we did last time, we see we have a lot of detail, a little bit of artifacting, not too much, but we could definitely clean it up. So in this case, upscale AI works very well. If you have a good starting image, chances are you're gonna have good success with upscale AI. For this image, it's more of a digital illustration. And if we look at the dimensions, it's 512 by 768. And by the way, these are at resolutions of 72 DPI, which is good enough for like posting it on social media. But if you were to print this and blow it up, it's gonna look terrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna slide this in as we did last time. Let's blow it up four times. Here we have the image and you see now we're at 2048 at 3072. If we zoom in closer here, we see the details. Really decent job. If we look at the face, all the fine details, it does a really good job. So this is the original image and I'm zooming in close to the face to see how pixelated it was, right? So once again, when you have a good starting image, chances are you're going to have success with upscale AI. This image is an old family photo when my son was super small <laughs> and we were a very young family. If we zoom in here, you see that, um, yeah, the quality is terrible. We have dimensions of 604 at 403. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to slide this into upscale. Let's upscale it four times, which should be enough. At an instant, it's already done, but I can see like if we look at the dimensions here, 24 by 1612, which should be good, but as you see here, it hasn't recovered any of the details. And this is important because after this, I'm gonna show you in Topaz Photo AI, the results there. Let's take this image I took of a tiger, a Sumatran tiger that I took uh, at the zoo many moons ago, 604 by 402, load up four times. So let's zoom in here. And in this case, it does an okay job. It's a little bit more acceptable. It does have some artifacting, especially in the background. You could see it there. If we zoom in closer, we see that the details are kind of mushed together, not really defined, kind of acceptable, I'd say for social media. My initial thought that it's a good start, but it needs some work. As I said, let's take a look in Topaz Lab Photo AI. So if we remember in Luminar Neo with my family photo, it really didn't help recover any of the details. I've taken all the other options off and I'm just using the enhanced resolution. We're gonna blow it up four times here. And you see that there's a before there's the after. Now the faces could use some work. So one of the benefits of Topaz Photo AI, it has a recover face feature. So I'm going to simply put that on. We'll leave it at the default setting. Now the eyes aren't as funky. And now if you look at the difference, yeah, the faces are a little too smooth. I can bring this down so that's not too much. But as you see, the details have been recovered. If we look at young me back then, we look at the details here in the hair and the eyes, especially let's look at my wife. She's uh, much better to look at <laughs> and my cute little boy way back then, but a much better result. 
Let's look once again at the Luminar Neo upscaled version. You can clearly, clearly see the difference. So I feel that it's still immature and that they need to optimize it more to get better results. If your starting image is a crop, of course you're gonna get good results. If you save a raw image as a JPEG and then upscale that, of course you're gonna get great results. These images I showed you were shot on old cameras that were probably less than a gig in megapixels. So the resolution isn't there, but you see with Topaz Photo AI, it was still able to recover those details. Now, in case you're interested in the core Luminar Neo program, it works very well. I have a playlist of a lot of videos on it. Make sure to check it out here. And of course I'll be developing more content over the next few weeks on Luminar Neo. In the meantime, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.